podcast. We haven't gone we have we? We've had loads of controversy, haven't we, while we've been Just away. I like a bit of chaos. So, I think, so, Castigate, isn't it? Castigate. Castigate, as it's been called. For the, anyone that's not been paying attention to Facebook or haven't got Lindome Lakes and Heronbrook on the list, Lindome have banned casters, aren't they? In open, what is it, open matches and festivals have done it in. Lindome run events. Yeah. 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 Lindome festivals, Lindome open matches. So going down the route of trying to make match fishing a bit more affordable to people. Mm -hmm. um, obviously there, I think, especially on Benny's and probably Loco and stuff like that, there's times a year where you do need eight, ten pints potentially to compete, but that's maybe a different discussion as well. Yeah, weird way of going down. Well, the thing you did as well this week, Anthony, Heron Heronbrook went down the route, <clears throat> briefly. <but laughs> sort we'll of that, went down it? that road and then well, thought, it, no, we're turning round. Yeah, <laughs> it is, it's a strange one, isn't it? But what, what, what are we gonna, what's, the con, what's this gonna lead on to? I think- It's what we think of. Is, right, break it down into two. Is it the right move? Lindo Wise and other fisheries, is that the right way to do it? And if not, what? is a better way to sort of like try Ooh, and like make that. fishing a bit more afford because everyone's skinned at the moment aren't they because you're paying like eight million pounds for electric and gas and more tax and the yeah. world's ruined everything's going up yeah <laughs> everything's going up but i think if fishing is your hobby and you really want to do something you just you'd sacrifice other things and you know you'd save up and pay for it so if but you want to you know what i mean go out, have a day's fishing and three or four pints of cash and you know you're going to have a great day's fishing, save up for it. It's what you always do anyway, isn't it? That's what I always used to do anyway. But I think, I suppose, does it put people off when when everyone's going with a gallon of casters, which, what's it going to be? It's like, four, four fifty a pint. Can get dear, yeah. The volumes that these venues had gone to, in some cases, I suppose, yeah. had got extreme. Potentially, if you... I think a big thing when it comes to amounts well, of bait the is other, the exaggeration of. I'm going to say the the amount. Of t how many times in a match have you gone through more than I'm going to say four pint of caster? I've never fed more than. That's because you. Are you are, I'm asking one person. <laughs> the only fish is bloody. Pay. No, but genuinely, but when, when we've had silly days, glee you don't blasting. Feed more than three pints. I reckon I fed a, a gallon twice in my life. Yeah. And that's when it's out of hand and you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot when of you're pounds. on a lot of fish, you physically can't feed that much because you've been playing fish in that, aren't you? Yeah, it's a massive, massive amount of bait. But it's banning a bait, in particular bait, no, I don't like it. I don't like bans of any form. I Obviously, don't like, like it. I think amounts would be a much better thing. I can understand why people do it. Business is business. You've got to do what you've got to do. Well, I think, to be fair to Aaron, what he was saying at Lindome... Aaron's a, different. Putting a bait limit in, people will bend it, they'll yeah. find... Where, and it's really hard to police because you've like look at white acres and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People... I saw Neil comment last night that someone had said, oh, "Oh, police it and all that," and they said they catch eight to ten people per weekend not using fishery pellets. Yeah, and they're, do you know what I mean, cheap as easy to buy. So if the bend rules are that much, they'd always bend it in some way, wouldn't they? Of course, yeah. it, it's too hard to police the exact amounts. It's a weird one, isn't it? So Lindome is different because. It's massively, I know at weekends in particular, during the summer when casters are important, it's a massively club popular venue, in it? Which is, is irrelevant then, they can use casters. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I think it's on fish o and big qualifiers, that's different again, so you can use you them can on You still those. use what you want. It's the, the regular lads that he's got there. Do you know what I, mean? he, I, I might be wrong, but I'd say Aaron's probably got 50 that fish all their open match, and they've got a lot of midweek lads as well, haven't they? That yeah. fish, literally mm -hmm. fish two, three times a week, like some righty and all of them. And it is, it's making it sensible for them all. Yeah. Then it? it makes it affordable. Because if, if you're going Lindo four times a flipping week and you it's need a gallon expensive. each time, you, no one, it's probably going to affect Adam because people aren't going to go. Yeah, you, yeah, yeah. I suppose that's it. You, you only need one or two people to commit to buying casters, then everyone else has to to sort of feel yeah. they're in the gang. But I suppose banning them all together, everyone knows they're going to be fishing pellet shallow if they're going to be fishing shallow or yeah. maggots. Yeah, but it depends on the situation. Because Heronbrook doing it, was wrong. I didn't like that. Why? Because different style of events. Like I said, Lindome's different because it does have them such regular open matches going on. I, I don't know what days. I'm going to say they have Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday. It's a lot, isn't there? Yeah. There's a lot of matches. Uh, Heronbrook doesn't. It, it does. It has um, different ones. He has the, the OAPs. He has a Rover on a Thursday. He's an open on a Thursday later on. There's not so much going on. 
It's a lot more clubbies again. Yeah. Let them yeah, do what yeah. they want. But yeah, it's, it's important for the lads that go there, all of them do bycasts at Erinbrook as well. It's venue specific and almost, isn't it? Like you ban it here, no one would bat an eyelid. No, they wouldn't. Don't all venues all, are different, aren't they? Yeah, what it yeah. comes down to is the cost of the fishing. Mm. You know I mean, if it gets out of hand, it's just trying to make everyone happy, isn't it? But it's impossible. I don't even know how to answer this one. It's weird. It's it's almost like falls with pace fishing, where there's a certain point of a year where it's going to make a difference, and then the like other what is there's going to be like two or three months where rafting casters is going to be mega yeah and then the rest of the year if it was limited to like three or four pints you probably wouldn't care if it's just putting a bit bit in with worm or something like that no it is important to and, be able yeah. to use whatever baits right within reach as long as it as i say as we said before you, you generally don't use more than three or four pints anyway but if you'd put the uh, restriction on it you only allow three or four pints you would 100 percent get people taking more yeah you can't police it no, you can't. You know what I mean. No. But I think what you should do. And I speak about this a lot because I've got. I mean, I speak to Steve a lot. He's yeah, caster yeah. obsessed and things like that. Yes. And I think the way of going. Really, there isn't. You don't need to put limits on because people don't use as much as they say they no. use. No. Do you know what I'd do if I were a fishery owner and I wanted to ban any bait or limit any bait? I'd say like you can use five pint whatever, but I'd expect them to use six or seven maximum, <laughs> but I'd be happy with that. So you're limited at something. Don't police it too much, but you know, yeah. it's just so no one, but it's just get on with it, it's fishing. If someone wants to spend loads of money, let them go spend loads of money. It's up to them, but isn't it? I Without think it, being, go on. It depends on the match as well. Cause I, I've had Which, this, uh, go on. a little, uh, what is it? Kerber by, it. well, it's not even a fishery anymore. Oh, is it gone now? Yeah, oh. it's like building houses or something, but, that was one where there was hide and stuff in there, and every time you went, you're like, I really want to be fishing casters, but the payout was that low, because it's one of those, it's 16 quid or whatever, you win 40, yeah. 50 quid so if you win the match. this is the instance I was on about then, you go and have a nice day's fishing, lovely day's fishing, so you take casters I out. couldn't justify it, that, like, yeah, if I knew I was spending amazing days fishing. 20 quid on bait, and then 15 quid on pools to win 50 quid, that's like, didn't no, make you sense. Well, that, that, you're still on both sides of it though. Yeah. I mean, you're going with, that many people have the mentality of is they want to make some money out of it. You're going with the, you, you want the nicest day yeah, you possibly yeah, have it. You one day off work a week. Yeah. Not and in I your think it, like, you forget that side of it, how much it actually costs to get there, fuel and everything, brekkie, whatever. When you get that little envelope, like, yes, that'll do. You don't think about, like, might cost you six quid to go in it. No. I don't, anyway. But it, everyone has the, di that's the thing is everyone has the different yeah. issues. I think the other Isn't issue it? as well, uh, it's worth mentioning, that the banning of the casters potentially was because the same people winning but them same people, they'll win on any bait, won't it? I mean, yeah, is that not that, another issue? That's crap. Do you know what I mean? I've yeah, it is. I've blagged an agree. entire angling career out of a sack of pellets. Yeah, it's mate. all right, you know what I mean? Hundred percent agree. <laughs> Absolutely. But I think that's what people were getting at as well. Oh, they're winning all the time. Let's ban it so they're not oh, going to win. Yeah. These, these are decent. They're going to win them. But whatever. Yeah, like the likes of Bagger and Christian and stuff going to Lindo. They're not winning just because they're taking a load no. of gasters. They're winning because they're better than everyone same else. People will win. And yep. whether it's pellets, whether it's maggots, whatever, yeah. they're going to fish it better. It's not like, no. obviously, yeah, trying to make it cheaper and more affordable and like even doing what Mel's done here, where he's done some like random rules on that teams of three. He's done some yeah. proper bizarre yeah. ones anyway. That's, <laughs> that's different. He's, <laughs> having, he's having a one-off event, isn't he? Teams of three. Oh, yeah, yeah, I like that. And we should have done a team for that. You've got to fish in the same I love that. Way Eight meters on maggots or something, innit? And then, whatever. Yeah. yeah, yeah, I like that. that. That's just a novelty thing, though, isn't it? Oh, that, you that. Can't, that can't be how fishing is. <laughs> that's just a, having a laugh. Yeah, yeah. That's different, innit? But in, in the big match world, I don't think there should be any place for any bands. Limits, no. yes. Bands that affect... Do you know what, I, I actually agree with the odd meat ban. Because I think at some venues, it, anything that affects health or things like that, yes, yeah, limits. Think, yeah. But other than that, no. Just... I'd ban me because I can't hit the blooming bites on them. Yeah. But I like the versatility of fishing, though, being, being able to have every yeah, bait. You don't want bands, It's nice do you? how a bloke next to you will love fishing casters and will all the time. I think it, if we all did the same thing, yeah. fish would get clever to it and then methods would be harder to catch on. Mm. It's nice having everyone doing different things. It gives the fish a nice, varied diet as well. Love that, Jay, lad. Yeah, it's yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> Not only the eating flies and worms and caterpillars and stuff, but it is now. And pellets. It's good being able to feed anything. And it is. I don't know what an answer is. There's no answer. Yes, fishing's gone crap. It's bloody expensive. It is expensive. And as with everything in the world, other people can, aff people can afford things that other people can't. That's how yeah, that's the way horrible the world, isn't it? the world is, isn't it? It is. Yeah, definitely. And it's flipping heck, yeah. Unfortunately, fishing's a sport that it can be influenced in. 
because you can buy more, but, but then you could play the kit card in that because someone's got better kit than someone. That, it, it's all crap. It's like a vicious circle, isn't it? It's all ah! isn't it? But, like a vicious circle. Yeah, I don't it's know where we're It's just a conversation. It's way near to fix anything, is there? There's just... No. Yeah, everything's got to be cheaper, please. <laughs> Who's in charge of it all now? Everything's just too expensive. <laughs> <Mr>. <laughs> but no, <laughs> it, it's what's the answer? If you're willing to... Yeah, I don't think bans should happen. I think limits, if that's the way to go, yeah, great. But it depends on the people. Every venue's different. That's the answer. Speak to the lads, and if they think it's great, why not? Do you know what I mean? You might go to a venue that's full of pastehead's, all that's yeah. loud's paste, they all love it. It all depends on the group of people yeah, you've got yeah. at your venue, doesn't and it? And I suppose, like, Aaron is going to look at it as a business where yeah. it's bums on seats at the end of the day. If the attendances are going oh, up, mate. it's working, and that's... Absolutely. The last thing he is is daft. He'll have spoke to the lads, tested yeah. the water, it, they know. But, yeah, every venue is different. Like, they've got done it at Heronbrook, and it's the opposite. Because that you, is Castor World, isn't it? You've they're annoyed more regulars yeah. than you. So, come here, Pat, where we say, old enough, do it, no bat an island. Yeah? Mm. You ban pellets here. Lift on, everyone. What? But it is, <laughs> yeah, it's... Yeah. Every venue's different, isn't it? Maggots yeah. are tunnel. Maggots are parties, you used yeah, to ban yeah. them. You, you just... You keep your lads happy. But, I mean, they're your bread and butter at every fishery. It's your regulars. They're your... Ones that you've got to keep happy. Yeah, yeah. You have. Yeah. So, they're the ones that are there four times a week. With what how do you see it going with again, going back to Lindome as an example, where it's been pretty much caster dominated, shallow fishing all through the summer. This year where they kind of wipe it out and everyone's fishing pellets, is it gonna affect the weights that much? Do, or is do it... you remember I always think back to things like this, think back to Western when they allowed meat and then they banned it. Everyone thought it's gonna be rubbish, not gonna really catch, but it was actually better, wasn't it? Remember Western? Yeah, they, they had to it. eat less. They, they had, had to eat, eat more bait. When they're on the pellet, they, they, they did it. for a it bit. Yeah. Better, didn't it, for a bit? And obviously yeah. casters and all that. But I think they did it at Lindown. They did. Yeah, banned me. I wonder, what, I wonder there, how yeah. it fished there. Yeah, it'll be. They'll know better than us. I wonder how it did it then, because Neil did. Neil banned me. And then it started. Fishing. I'm gonna say like five or six years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On bonsai. I wonder how that whether that changed it. That'll be a good reflection. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, that's no different to casters. No. But that was affecting the water. Obviously, they're starving in these kind of waters and they're coming out to summer. So they're going to eat, aren't they? Simple as that. Yeah. They're going to bait. They've got to eat. Yeah. Go on a pit! But is it, is it yeah. just one of those where it's almost that same cycle of someone starts catching on casters, everyone starts blasting loads in, so that's what they're used to. And if you suddenly go back to pellets, uh, give it a month or two of... Yeah. Well, there's going to be that silly season where they've not been caught shallow. And then if they don't get tuned into casters again properly, oh, do they just carry yeah. on eating pellets? I wish they did. I wish they fed and pellet shallow again, because it was dead easy to catch when it was stupid than that pellet <laughs> That'd be shallow. cheaper, wouldn't it? <laughs> and it was dead cheap. Yeah, yeah. a lot cheaper. But what, yeah. <laughs> but you never feed the same quant like you never feed like eight pints of pellets, do you? Oh, never ever. Never, never like ever, sit in proper raft pellets. No, but that's fishing in general. No one feeds the amounts that people exaggerate. No. Doesn't happen, does it? Say a full tub two tubs in the summer when you're emptying it, six pints. That's, yeah. that's a you lot, could, if you're lot sensible, you can catch a lot of fish with six pints of bait. A stupid amount, can't you? Yeah, Maggots and casters. Very, very, well, I don't think it's ever happened where you didn't run out of bait. Just, mm. no. Yeah, when you took half a pint. <laughs> yeah, when you're, when you're was, tightened up by bait. I was chatting to Ollie Scott on about it, because he fishes Lindholm a lot, and he was yeah. saying... Ollie's a feeder. The most he's ever fed, though, is when it was bad, because it was is not caught for two and a half, three hours. Yeah and he's almost just been rafting it just to get fish in your peg, and then as soon as the fish are there, you don't you feed as much. Yeah, yeah, and that's the day, don't. he's had days where, he's had daft weights on there, only like four or 500 pounds or yeah. whatever it is. You probably don't need to feed when you're not catching yeah. them though, we just do it, thinking. Yeah. So it's probably just, uh, you're feeding them on the deck for no reason. Yeah, no, I think that's what we have to do. What, what's the, how are we summing this up then, the conversation? It says that venues have to take it into their own hands. Mm. If the lads need a cheaper alternative, just speaking to the lads and giving them what the local lads want. It's pointless the outside world getting involved. Yeah. If they don't go, it's we all like it. It's like saying it, Rich. But it is literally Each that. venue has its, its business, own group. It? Of, yeah, it's a flipping yeah. neck, yeah. That's how the fisheries see it. Mm. All they're bothered about is the bums on seats, health of the fish. Yeah. They're the only two things that matter. Yeah, yeah. Isn't it? And as long as they're keeping both happy, job done. Yeah, definitely. Any other money saving tips for fishing? Money saving tips for fishing. No. You could be like the Martin Lewis, isn't it? The fishing world. Money well, saving tips. That's the thing, innit? People worrying about bait. Take a slice of bread with you. No, you don't. How much bait that you actually buy, you end up actually using? 
I've had the same three pint of maggot now. It's probably down to about a pint an hour for three weeks. Just wow. to Money saved. To, what's the thing you waste the most? <laughs> Micros are my one. That's what we do ground as anglers, isn't it? Yeah. How much bait do we waste? Ground bait. <laughs> like, I have loads of ground bait left, isn't there? It is, isn't it? I remember Get it when I saw... put it in the freezer. <laughs> Don't do that. But, yeah, it's so bad how much bait yeah, we waste. Yeah, micro in particular. Money. Like, little bobby bait, it's like loads, isn't it? You know what I mean? Yeah, that, that, that's my tip. Work measure, out. Repair measure. minimal bait that you think you need, and, and that way you've got money to buy casters. Ours, and you still have more than enough, <laughs> wouldn't you? <laughs> and buy casters. Yeah, yeah you've got money to buy casters, then you've stopped wasting <laughs> as many micros and ground bait. Turn your own casters. Oh, the well, that's the point, what? actually. If you were like fishing with magwais and like it's really hot and they started turning into casters, what happened then? Get disqualified instant. You're weird now, aren't you? Don't go weird. Isn't it, though? Yeah. Don't be going weird. But, <laughs> I mean, I'd do that to you. I couldn't put casters on your tray when no one was looking. You would. You would. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just put six pints of the <laughs> And you. That's the way, isn't it? But yeah, that, that, yeah, I don't want to go down that route, policing it and all. It's just... It's fishing. We just want to go fishing. Just go fishing. I yes, it's bloody expensive. If you want to spend it, you've got to spend it. And if not, go somewhere where you don't have to spend it. That's it. Vote with your feet. Yeah. But in a nice way, just... All everyone's doing is trying to keep it happy, isn't it? Yeah. Everyone wants to do their own thing. Everyone just needs to stay happy. Many it? I like a nice happy world, It's Jay, amazing like. that's coming yes. from me, the irony that that's yes. coming from me. The 1%. <laughs> Forget about the other 99, Jay, lad. Yeah. Yeah. Just stay happy. Just fishing horrible. Don't worry. With this. Be happy. Yeah. Oh, that'll do. Did it, did. Yes, <laughs> we like that. Right, you lads, very, very sorry to interrupt your video watching. How dare you? Quickly, if you haven't already noticed, we have managed to write a book, haven't we? Yes, we have, Which Jamie. Which is full of all our very bestest methods and features or whatever else we do on this wonderful subject of fishing. So if you haven't had a look already, go and have a look at winningways.shop and buy one for yourself.